Hello everyone, Tony, stop playing in the bathtub. It's time for a new exciting experiment. By the way, I have an amazing idea. Let's find out what happens to the human body underwater. Not in the tub, but somewhere deeper and darker. So, we're in a special pool used by scuba divers and freedivers to practice. In case you don't know, freediving is a special form of diving that relies on breath holding until resurfacing rather than the use of breathing apparatus such as scuba gear. Well, let's take the plunge! When you just dive underwater, your diving reflex activates. First, your heart rate slows down, reducing your body's oxygen intake. A reflex preventing water from getting into your lungs activates as well, and then the blood shift comes into play. This means that your blood is redistributed towards the vital organs protecting them from pressure. Underwater, the pressure is much higher, because water is much heavier than air. So even at a depth of 1 meter, Tony can feel the water squashing him. At a depth of 10 meters, the pressure is twice as high. At a depth of 30 meters, is three times higher. At a depth of 100 meters, it's so high that your lungs shrink up to the size of a baseball. But we aren't ready to get there yet. Even at a smaller depth, the pressure can lead to severe injuries. Your eardrums can burst, your lungs stretch out and shrink, causing alveoli to burst and making you cough up blood. What are alveoli? These are tiny bubbles through which gas exchange takes place. Oxygen enters the blood and carbon dioxide goes out. An average adult human has about 600 million alveoli in their lungs. Besides, resurfacing too fast is really dangerous. The sharp drop in external pressure causes gases to create air bubbles that lead to malperfusion. This can lead to decompression sickness, which can cause paralysis or even death. As you can see, freediving is a pretty dangerous hobby. Oxygen deficiency triggers the outflow of blood from the limbs to the vital organs. Motor skills deteriorate and you can faint, which can be fatal underwater. So friends, never dive deep alone and without special training. The world record for freediving belongs to 49-year-old Austrian Herbert Nitsch, who in 2012 reached a depth of 253 meters. Friends, tell us in the comments below how you feel about the water and if you like diving. The best stories will be featured in our next video. Give us some likes and subscribe so you won't miss Super Tony's new experiments. Bye-bye!